And so with that, I'm very pleased to yield to our distinguished caucus chair, Mr. Emanuel. Well, Thank you for your leadership. Let me make, uh, because we have a number of speakers, let me make my points, two points real quickly. In 1942, a little over 60 years ago, America began researching for a vaccine for polio. In 1952, we discovered that polio vaccine, and in 1955, we started vaccinating Americans. Politics did not get in the way when it came to finding a cure to polio. And all I can say is thank God this crowd wasn't around when the polio disease was around. They didn't let politics get in the way of serious medical research. Second, as Diane pointed out, the President signed a symbolic executive order. I've worked in the White House and I understand executive orders. But with no new money, no new doctors, no new research, you end up with no new breakthroughs and therefore no new hope. Although it was a great executive order, and I'm sure he felt good about it, he has found himself in his own political straitjacket and America is, a, is hurting because of it. What we need to do, as Diane pointed out, we will continue to come back this is the second time he has vetoed this, and we will continue to come back with a stem cell legislation until we get a president who will cooperate with the American people and the Democrats and Republicans of both the House and Senate who want to see this promise of medical research to the cures of Alzheimer's and other types of diseases that are affecting their family members. With that, I'd like to now call on Congressman Ed Perlmutter from Denver.